Through all my experience of being a student in Hawaii, becoming a professional dancer for the Los Angeles Clippers, and most recently being titled Miss California USA, I quickly realized that nothing compares to the heart and soul of my hometown of Lancaster, California. Come along with me as we get to experience the taste, the talent, the tech, and most of all, the fun of my hometown. This is Tip on the Town. Lancaster, welcome to another episode of Tiff on the Town. I'm your host, Tiff, and as you can tell, today's episode is pretty special because it's the holidays. The one time of the year where we feel the most gratitude, graciousness, and warmth. But I had to ask myself, why are the holidays the only time of the year where we sit in the true meaning of love, selflessness? So I felt challenged to air this episode in January 2024, so you all feel encouraged to sit in love for an entire year. Enough of me talking, it's time for us to sip on that hot chocolate and get into this special edition of Tiff on the Town. Warm and fuzzy, it's time to get snuggly. On today's episode of Tiff on the Town, we are starting off with remembering the importance of family memories and traditions at the annual Prime Lights with Lancaster's Prime Desert Preserve. Next, you get to see the importance of serving your community and yourself at my first ever beauty fair, Tis the Season for Beauty by Tiff. You may even get some special beauty tips. Lastly, at the annual City of Lancaster Magical Boulevard, we highlight how some of our community leaders and companies are here to not only serve you, but also encourage you to share an act of kindness too. If you haven't been to Prime Lights at the Lancaster's Prime Desert Preserve, I really don't know what you're waiting for. Each year's lights get better and better. This scene sets the perfect tone for Abuelita's hot chocolate on the go while homemade crock pot chili is waiting for your return at home. Let's get to know some local families and their traditions. Lancaster, we're here with one of the families enjoying the lights of tonight. If you can all introduce yourselves for us. My name's April. My name's Haley. And my name is Spencer. April, you were sharing with us earlier that you bring your kiddos here every year. What type of feeling do you get that you get to experience this with your kids? I think it's just a good time for the holidays, you know, to have them experience the lights and things that I enjoyed when I was a kid, you know, getting to see all the lights. Kiddos, what's your favorite feeling about Christmas? Feeling warm and joy. Feeling a nice and refreshing, soothing winter snow. Ooh, winter snow, we like that. And talking about winter snow, there's something that isn't so nice and soothing. I heard that you're gonna do Grinchmas in a couple of days. Share with us what that is. We're gonna do a, a version of the, the Grinch who stole Grinchmas. Ooh, and you're gonna sing and dance, right? Yeah. What's your favorite part, singing or dancing? Both. Okay, kiddos, last question. Favorite holiday drink? Go. Hot cocoa. Hot chocolate. Oh, same. Hot cocoa, hot chocolate. But, you know, siblings have to be a little different. Well, I'm glad you guys get to enjoy the holidays here and have a very merry, blessed Christmas. Lancaster, we're here with one of the most adorable families tonight. If you all can introduce yourself, please. Yeah, my name is Alan. I'm Rose, and this is Rohan. Well, hello, Rohan. You guys are clearly starting this beautiful family together. How does it feel to start these great memories with Rohan so young? Oh, it's wonderful. We we want to make sure that like, he has really good memories as he's growing up, you know, stuff that maybe we didn't get to experience, but just want him to like have a really nice memory and just look back and enjoy this time. Do you guys think you're going to start this tradition in Lancaster for Rohan? Yes, our family's out here, we're out here, so it's something nice where you can walk around and enjoy it. <laughs> That's a great toy from Santa, huh, Rohan? <laughs> yes. Yes, it is. I agree. <laughs> Last question. What is your guys' favorite Christmas dish or drink? Uh, I love eggnog. Eggnog, uh, something that my grandma always used to make, and, and I just love it. Yeah. Stuffing. My mom's stuffing can't be beat. Yeah. <laughs> and Rohan's is going to be all the sugar possible, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> all right, guys. Happy holidays. Lancaster, we're here with a family that reminds me a lot of my own. Nice and big and full with all the love in the world. If you could introduce yourself. I'm Brianna. Well, Brianna, if you are the best cousin, what is the best memories that you all have had during the holidays? The Christmas parade. We go to the Christmas parade every year and we do like Santa, like secret Santa gifts and stuff like that, open presents. How does it feel to be able to like see the kids grow up and experience these lights during the holidays? 
It's actually fun since I have my own child. It's actually cool to experience them grow up and watch all the stuff that I used to see too, so I enjoy it. All right, kiddos, this is your last chance to tell Santa what you want for Christmas. Three, two, one, go. A Barbie. <laughs> um, uh, not really nothing. Maybe clothes, maybe clothes, yeah, clothes. Okay, I iPhone 12. <laughs> Very ambitious. Gotta give the girl her credit. All right, guys, wave to the camera. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Lancaster, just looking at this family reminds me of the holidays. Just warm, support, true family love. If you could introduce yourself for us. Hi, I'm Angie. And this is? Jordan. And? Hey, Olivia. Hi. 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 <laughs> and they also have a little special guest that we could show to the, I mean, just look at that. Just so precious. Okay, Angie, how does it feel to bring your full family here to see the lights? Good, we've been here a couple times, a couple years each year we have a new member with us. So yeah, it's nice to experience it with the growing family. That's so exciting to witness. And how does it feel to see your son so supportive of your little girl as well? Good, he's always a major help and a great big brother. So it's always good to do events with him because we get the most out of it. What is the one thing you want your kids to experience the most during Christmas? Oh man, I guess uh, just being together really. I mean, at the end of the day, uh, if you have nothing, family's all you have. Amen to that girl. Yeah. All right, Jordan, what do you want from Santa? Don't be shy, you send me <laughs> um, clothes. Lots of clothes. Lots of clothes. We can do that. All right, guys. Merry Christmas and blessings to your Thank family. You. Merry, Christmas. Merry Christmas. Lancaster, just when you thought that you knew me, there's one thing that might shock you. I am a pageant girl. I'm a dancer, a reporter, but there's one thing that's near and dear to my heart, being in the beauty industry. As an esthetician, I'm so honored to say that I get to show individuals that touch equates to love, not always harm. This event that I've put together, Tis the Season for Beauty by Tiff, is the one moment where eight of us professional beauticians can come together and show individuals that you can use touch to share love. I'm so excited to see all of these strong, independent women get to work and touch so many souls tonight. Let's get to it. I love what I do because I love connecting with all different clients and I love brows. I don't know what it is about it, but I just love them. They frame your face, they transform everything. I love it because I really get to know people on a deeper level than just what they even know themselves or show me. I get to really sit with their energy and talk with them through things that maybe are in their subconscious or things that they don't even know they want to bring up. So I love getting to see people's true souls and I love doing that. I love what I do because spray tan really just helps bring out women's confidence once they see a nice little glow on their skin. It's how people feel after they see their truest potential and just the confidence that they like are staring at through the mirror. Like just reminding them of, you know, their true beauty and feeling good, you know, feeling good because a hair appointment, I'm nothing better than a hair appointment. The AV is my hometown. I grew up here. So it's good to give back and show gratitude to the community that I grew up with. My whole career started here 16 years ago. I went to beauty school here and um, ditched a lot. I'm known for that. But I went here and I'm proud of it. And so many great legends are from here. And it's just awesome to be back. Oh my gosh, it feels incredible to be in Lancaster. This is where I was born and raised. It's what made me who I am. So any way I can be here and give back to my community, I will. Everyone needs a haircut. You know, I do coloring and haircutting, but I think something as simple as a haircut, which a lot of people neglect, can transform anything. Me, for example, I don't get my hair colored, but a haircut makes me and my mood change instantly. Haircut can enhance your true beauty by just hitting certain spots with a layer up around your facial structure. It's so detailed, but only like hairstylists would think of things like that. But I love the smile on my client's face. And I would probably say, I see my gray hair clients all the time, so they're like family. But if you, you know, you can't get in every six to eight weeks, at least give yourself a haircut every three months. Well, I feel like viewers should receive it if they feel called to it. Energy healing is something that is so personal. It's a big experience. It can be a little intimidating at first because you're like, oh no, are my deepest, darkest secrets, you know, being shown to this lady. Um, but I feel like if you're being called to 
really get to know yourself on a deeper level, then you should absolutely receive this service and how often would be totally up to you. So some people I see them once a year, some people I see them once a month. Viewers should receive my care because getting a spray tan really helps to bring out the confidence in you, gives a really nice, simple, natural glow on the skin, and they should be coming in at least every two weeks if they want to continue with a soft glow. Nothing dark, nothing crazy dramatic, but just a really pretty soft, natural skin glow. Viewers should receive my care because I'm really precise, I'm passionate about what I do, and honestly, it's just quality work. This isn't your regular brow service. So you should be getting your brows done every four to six weeks to have maintenance. Um, you really want to be able to keep your shape in place, so do not touch your brows in between. I am so excited that you get to jump into another side of my world. Today I get to show you what Skin Deep by Tiff is all about. Today I have my amazing client, Lori. Lori has watched me grow up for a very long time. She works very hard in this community of the AV, so I'm so excited to finally serve her because if anyone deserves it, it's Aunt Lori. <laughs> so usually before I jump into this, I do a consultation asking, what do you say to yourself when you look in the mirror? What is your day-to-day -day routine like? If there's any changes you want to see instantly and within three months, what does that look like for you and why? The next thing that I do is jump into a double cleanse. So a lot of people wonder why I got into the beauty industry. When I was in my undergraduate, I was a pre-med major with the hopes of becoming an obstetrician gynecologist. But during that journey, I was diagnosed with endometriosis. I had a lot of bumps in the road with my medical professionals insisting that I go through hormonal treatment, um, so much so to the point that they wanted me to receive a hysterectomy at 19. I insisted that I wanted to be a mom, so that wasn't necessary for me. And through all the hormonal treatment, I was starting to lose my hair, get cystic acne, debilitating migraines, um, and really bad eczema. And finally, I said, I'm gonna take a holistic approach. So it really encouraged me, instead of going to medical school, receive my Master's of Science in Nutrition and get my cosmetology license during COVID so that I can help women that are going through hormonal treatments and chemo know that they're still beautiful and we can find the happy medium and holistic approach to letting you know that you're a warrior and we're gonna find um, that balance of your exterior beauty again. So this is everyone's favorite part besides the massage. It's the hot eucalyptus towel. I like to do a little trick with it too. Roll the towel, pull up the neck, side of the neck, opposite side of the neck, neck pull. Wrap, pull up and down the cheek, around the chin, up, down the cheek, around the chin. Hit the top of the eyebrows, pull back and down. This is really good to relieve migraine tension. And most women, whether you believe it or not, because a lot of us like to act like we have it all together, we hold a lot of tension all the time. So what I'm putting on my cotton pad is the No Peel Peel from PCA. It's a very gentle exfoliating product. Um, it dives deep into the lower layer of the skin and encourages that layer to come to the forefront. But the cool thing about this is it's a chemical peel technically, but it doesn't have that extreme peeling nature that all chemical pills you see online and on the internet. It's not scary, but it's gentle. So if you have any clients that have sensitive skin, Skin, definitely recommend a no pill pill or a bio repill. Again, since Lori is so sensitive, I'm gonna take my hydrating toner, place it exactly where I put the no pill pill to really dilute um, the blend of the acids within the chemical peel. I am gonna take a dab approach instead of a rub approach, and I'm gonna ask her every three seconds, how tingly are you? Maybe a two Great. on the lower part. <laughs> Amazing. Scale of one to 10, how tingly are you? It's warming up. Okay, gotcha. Just in the lower, right? Yep. So no matter what the pill is, even if she said I'm at a zero, you still want to fan them down because the fanning is going to calm down the reaction. What's happening when a peel occurs is it's encouraging the breakdown of the top layer of the skin, but it's also encouraging blood flow to rush to the face. So your client will feel heat from the inside, but they will also feel heat from the outside. So it is a sandwich effect of heat. If you don't approach it immediately, it will continue to heat up.
Now we're gonna do the applied serum. It's just for Lori. It's a hyaluronic acid boosting serum and a Pro Max age renewal. So hyaluronic acid boosting serum, I recommend for everyone, whether you're five, 10, 25, 52, whatever your age is, I recommend this for you. It really encourages hydration from the inside out of your skin so it keeps you plump. Pro Max age renewal. It has scientifically made um, growth stimulants inside of it. So if you're facing any aging signs or premature aging, this is the way you want to go. Um, it encourages filling up the lines in your skin with growth microns, like insane, okay? So mixing the chew for Lori. Okay, now we're at everyone's favorite part, the massage. This is where I get the most excited chew. It definitely goes into um, my message of what I really try to carry at Skin Deep by Tiff is I really have this blessing of showing love through touch um, and really allowing people to meet the Lord through me. So I take my diligence and my time with my massage and I really try to be intentional with what I'm thinking when I'm massaging this person because touch is just so intimate. Last step, always end with some chapstick. This is a hyaluronic acid lip booster. So again, it has that hyaluronic acid in it to encourage moisture from the inside out. So important. And that's a mini facial with Tiff. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Thank you, Lori. Every woman in the Antelope Valley needs to experience some type of relaxation. With the craziness the world is handing us today, we really need time for ourselves. We really need time to take care of ourselves because if we don't do inner care, we can't care for anybody else. I think as we age, um, I'm 29, no, I'm really not, but as we age, we find that it's so important to take care of ourselves. If you don't have that inner, you know, obviously that's where I believe your beauty comes from. It's, um, this fades with time. So I think it's really important to take care of yourself. My relaxation is being with my friends, being with people that I love. And Tiffany has always built those spaces for us. And any chance I get, I will always be in one of those spaces. The beauty comes from within, remembering that, affirmations, and amazing spa days. <laughs> An excellent experience. Give them the opportunity for them to let their hair down and unwind. Give them the opportunity to enjoy their beautifulness and give them the opportunity to just let go, even if it is for 15 minutes. Whatever that is that gives you peace, that gives you that true self-care. I know we always think self-care is like, um, physical wise, but it can be anything. It can be you going on a walk or you, um, really telling yourself that your affirmations and, and just within is so important when it comes to us women and, and, and our self-care. I'm gonna say with Tiffany, something that I'm really impressed with is she is such a dynamic young lady and she really has set the tone in our community for up and coming um, young girls. I think that's so important. Uh, there's a lot of us that have lived here a long time, but I think it's important to have role models. Um, you know, these 20-somethings, these 30-somethings, and I really think that that's the tone she sets. Glad you all got to see a different side of who I am as Tiffany Johnson, but more importantly, got to see why it's important to support the women in your life. You don't have to go home, but you gotta get the heck out of here. See you guys later. The City of Lancaster's annual Magical Boulevard was an absolute hit. The smell of funnel cakes being made, the sound of children laughing while sledding down the snow hill, and the sight of our Christmas tree lights shining over our community was unmatched. Let's get to hear some community involvement insight and tips from our city impactors and leaders. Five, four, three, two, one. Merry Christmas! Both over the years in Magical Boulevard. Let me tell you, we've done this for at least 14 years that I know of. But tonight, this has got to be the biggest crowd. I have never seen it like this. So that tells you that things are great. Oh, it just warms my heart. Like you said, I feel like all of Lancaster is out here. And please come out 
critique me, give me some good new dance moves out here. Um, I'm open for the, the good feedback. <laughs> Sunny, welcome to this amazing event. How does it feel to sponsor the Magical Boulevard of Lancaster? It's all about good energy, positive energy about the community, and we really are proud to be part of the community. Toyota of Lancaster prides itself in giving back because more than the sale, it's about the opportunity to give back. And we're really glad that we're here. We really are. And as you said, giving back, Sunny, you've done such a gentle job with giving Magical Boulevard coloring books and toys for little kids to play with tonight. So how does that feel to get that creativity out of kids today? You know, kids are an important aspect of our society, and we, we definitely want to give back to the kids because they're really they're an important factor. And uh, Toyota of Lancaster, we pride ourselves in giving back not just to the adults, but the kids, because in the future, they're going to be the leaders, right? And we got to help out any way we can. And definitely, it's the little things. It's, yeah. it's, it's not, no problem, no problem. We have James, a representative from AVTA, that puts on one of the best fundraisers that I have to say in Lancaster, Stuff of Us. But they have something very special going on with Stuff of Us. Can you dive deeper into what's going on with the fundraiser? Well, every year we do Stuff of Us. This is the 29th year for Stuff of Us with AVTA. And the board of directors, it's real important to them that we just get out there and we help our community. We partner with local businesses who help us raise money and raise awareness for the Stuff of Us toy collection effort. Every year we, we get the Stuff of Us around to different events like Magical Boulevard Christmas and we collect toys and then on one day, December 16th this year, we're gonna be giving away all of those toys plus groceries, turkeys. It's our holiday drive through grocery and toy giveaway. It's at AVTA and the entire Antelope Valley is welcome to come participate. So come be a part of Stuff of Us. Help us fill that 40 foot all electric bus from end to end with new toys for needy families here in the Antelope Valley. We're with Ashley from Waste Management. Ashley, what are you offering at your tent for Magical Boulevard today? Thank you, Tiffany, for having me today. We're so happy to be here. We're handing out some sorting guides. Uh, one of our main objectives right now is to help uh, provide some education on how to sort your carts properly. And that uh, starts with your recycling, your organics, and whatever you have left to go in the trash. And there's a new video coming out that I've heard. There's video push. What is that video all about? Yeah, actually, uh, we have a few educational videos that will be hitting um, social media and sponsorship with the city uh, to help provide some more clarification on some education on how to properly sort. We have a very exciting guest, Panchito from the USL. How does it feel to have the first Magical Boulevard, with this being your first time with a permanent location on the boulevard? It's amazing. The people, folks are stopping by, checking out our office space, asking about the team, and just I could sense their 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 passion, the, the the willingness of them trying to learn more about our team. And you grew up here in Lancaster, so what has been your favorite memory at home during the holidays? I'll say tamales. You know, you, you can't miss those in the Latino community. You, you know? cannot miss with tamales, right? That's a lot of love when it comes to that. What is the warm message you want to give to all the viewers watching right now? If you want to celebrate your city and be part of your city, this is the place. You will never find this street so full of as much love as you'll find it tonight. It's just fabulous, isn't it? Now that you've probably finished that cup of hot chocolate, it's time for us to wrap up this special edition episode of TIFF on the town. I hope you all felt the graciousness and gratitude of this special episode. And remember that it's time for us to build memories with our family, not just on the holidays, but throughout the entire year. Hug them tight, love them long. See you on the next episode of TIFF on the town.